All right, guys, Gemini, back with another video. And today is going to be a little bit different video. It's going to be story time with old Jim in regards to uh, WrestleMania uh, 23. Um, this was actually, it's kind of funny. I'm actually going to WrestleMania this year. It'll be my first time since 2007 uh, that I've been to WrestleMania. Um, excuse me, life happens. <laughs> Money happens and stuff happens. So that's why I haven't been back to WrestleMania since 2007. I missed the experience and I, I thought I would come on here and I would tell you guys a funny WrestleMania story from uh, back in the day. So let's do it. Um, those of you who have been in a Skype call with me, uh, you know, the, the Click and all them guys, you know, Miguel and and yeah, yeah, and Luke and all those guys have heard this one before. So for you who haven't heard this one, I think you're going to enjoy this. So a little story time with Jim. Um, okay, here's the deal. Uh, I'm in Detroit. It's April. It's 2007. And uh, we get to Detroit. And uh, I've never seen any any place like this in my life. I mean, Detroit was... I loved it. It's a wonderful city. But, man, it was ghetto as hell. It was, it was straight ghetto. Me and my buddy John were walking around Detroit. And, uh, you know, we're, we're checking things out. So we decided we're going to go down to the old uh, Tiger Stadium. It wasn't quite demolished yet in 2007, so we get off the bus, and we're like, man, let's go check out old Tiger Stadium, you know, where the Tigers played, you know, forever. So we go down there, and the stadium is is beat to shit, and uh, it, I mean, it's old. I mean, they're, they're starting the, de the demolishing process of Tiger Stadium, you know, Briggs Stadium. They're starting to tear it down, but it's still cool to be there. It's still really cool to see it. And also in anticipation, you know, we're going to watch WrestleMania. This is on a Saturday. WrestleMania is the next day. You know, WrestleMania 23 at Ford Field, which was beautiful. And down by Greek Town was, was beautiful. So we're, we're walking around the streets, um, you know, in Detroit. <laughs> I don't think this is a good idea to be down in Corktown. But, yeah, we're walking around, and uh, all of a sudden we're, me and my buddy John, is, I see this, this gal, uh, and she's walking walking right in the middle of the street. I mean, keep in mind, there's no cars. There's just abandoned buildings, abandoned houses. Nobody nobody lives here. Nobody is here in Detroit. I mean, Detroit has had it. So we're walking down the street. You know, we see this gal. She's just walking in the middle of the street, this crazy-looking gal. You know, she was an African-American gal. I don't know if that makes a difference. Uh, you know, it could have been a Caucasian gal, an Asian gal, but this was an African-American gal. And she's walking right down the middle of the street, and she hit me with a famous line. She looks right at me, me and my buddy John, and she hits me with a famous line. Y'all got pills? Y'all want blows? Y'all got pills? Y'all want blows? <laughs> and we're looking at her like, what the fuck just happened? We, we couldn't believe it. And my friends in Skype have been teasing me <laughs> for years about, y'all got pills? Y'all want blows? I mean, this woman, this, I guess she was a prostitute. I mean, she was ready right there, broad daylight, downtown Detroit. Uh, she was ready right there to either trade us drugs or give us blows uh, right behind a uh, one of the abandoned buildings. So it was it was uh, one of the craziest experiences that I, I mean, I'm a, I'm a small town boy. You know, I come from a little teeny tiny town, you know, what, 52,000 people. Um, I had never seen anything like this. And no, I didn't go behind the, the abandoned building with her, if that's what you're wondering. I am not out of my mind. But yeah, I just wanted to share that. Y'all got pills, y'all want blows uh, story with you guys uh, when we got propositioned by a, a Detroit uh, crackhead, crack whore, right in the middle of the street, right in the middle of Cork Town. Uh, one of the funniest stories that I've been telling on Skype for years. So I thought I'd come forward and tell y'all want pills, y'all want blows. Uh, story to you guys here on YouTube so and of course you know we went to Wrestlemania the next day and it was a fantastic show um, boy I tell you poor Detroit I mean this city has just had it I mean it's 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 really a sad sight I mean I love the state of Michigan I love the Detroit area um, and somewhere where I would move to I would live in uh, Detroit I just love Michigan period if I was to move to Michigan, I would live obviously outside of Detroit because it's a dangerous city. I mean, you walk into, I mean, when you drive into Detroit these days, 
Um, they got a big sign up that says enter at your own risk because they don't have enough police on staff to keep you safe ad adequately. Um, but yeah, Detroit is a, it's a trip, man. Um, there's a, a ghetto city, but at the same time a city like filled with heart and a city filled with promise. Where we were in Detroit, uh, down in Corktown, Michigan and Trumbull, where Old Tiger Stadium is, nobody was. I mean, this was just ghetto and abandoned and beat up and run down. But if you go down by Ford Field, uh, and it's pretty nice down there in, in uh, Greek Town. You know, it's pretty nice down there too. So just want to share my little uh, WrestleMania, y'all want pills, y'all want blows story. So I'm Gemini. Thank you for watching.